Alrighty, what's going on guys? JRPG Enthusiast here, Shadow Elite, back again with another video. So PlayStation Experience has come and gone, and it has released some pretty awesome games. And of course, you know I gotta talk about the JRPG side of things. Uh, there wasn't too many JRPGs, but there's enough for me to actually talk about it. Uh, there are some other games that did interest me in some non-JRPGs, and maybe I'll talk about that at the end of the video, I'm not even sure. But uh, let's talk about the JRPGs now. Uh, Persona 5, we all know it got delayed to April 4th, and they got a new trailer at PlayStation Experience, and a, a lot of the trailer, well, well maybe I, I guess you could say 60% of the tra trailer maybe, was a uh, footage we've seen before. Of course, it's in English now. The English sounds great to me. I don't care what anybody says. I, I, I'm always thumbs up for an English dub, okay? I don't need a Japanese dub. Anyway, the English sounded pretty good. The new gameplay they featured was, uh, of course, new to um, English people. The game is already out in Japan, but, you know, for people like me, who don't look at Japanese stuff? Uh, I have seen nothing of Persona 5 when it comes to virtually anything outside the trailers that they have premiered in English. So it's all new to me. It may not be new to you. You might have seen everything. You might listen to the soundtrack. You might have seen the ending. You might have seen all that good stuff. Me, I'm still in shock and awe, okay? Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to freaking buy this game when it comes out and love it. Actually, I might buy it three times because it's uh, it's up for pre-order on the um, PlayStation Network right now, PlayStation Store right now, and you get some um, themes for it, I believe, an avatar, and you get some um, day one DLC, which is uh, something about Izanagi, Persona 4 is the main character in Persona 4's main um, persona, and I don't know exactly what that is, I'll probably bring it up on screen so you guys can see it. But uh, anyway, I'm probably gonna buy this game three times. Once, once digital. Uh, I already got a pre-order on Amazon. I don't, I, I don't even want to cancel my pre-order on Amazon because I also have it reserved at GameStop as well. Cause I gotta play it day one. I don't want no excuses. I don't want Amazon to be like, oh, the shipping, something went wrong with the shipping. Oh, it's not gonna get to you for another two days after the game release. Nah, nah, nah. I'm gonna go straight to GameStop and play and get it that <laughs> that same day. And I'll probably end up not canceling my pre-order on Amazon. Let them take the money out and uh, <laughs> let it go right there. I'm also gonna pre-order the digital version right right now so i might have three versions of this game in my house i might give one away i'm not sure i, I gotta show somebody the glory the um awesomeness of persona so they could experience it for themselves and they can realize how right i am and they can join the holy church of persona 5 yes this is a movement okay i'm getting i'm getting way too fanboyish here but uh yeah persona 5 is coming out in april new trailer was showing my place experience and it was awesome so uh yeah that's it let's move on the next game I want to talk about here is Yeast Origins. Um, I don't know if I even pronounced that right. Yeast, I, I, I don't know. Somebody could probably um, take me down in the comment section about how to pronounce something. But uh, anyway, I'm not too interested in this Yeast game. Um, I'm more interested in Yeast 8, the uh, new game, the newer game, I guess you could say that would be coming out because I, I believe, and I'm not 100% on this one. So again, take me down in the comment section that this is a... Um, prequel to the other games and this isn't really is there a remaster I, I'm, I'm not sure but uh, I, I just want to see yeast 8 because I, I don't have that much experience with the yeast franchise all I've played is um, yeast 7 and yeast memories of South Seta. and those games are awesome they are great are action RPGs and uh, Jesus Christ the music in this franchise is just freaking mind-blowing I mean damn if you never actually get around to playing a yeast game just listen to the soundtrack to yeast memories of South Seta and, and yeast 7 and you will just you will have a good time <laughs> All right, so uh, that's really it for Yeast. Let's move on to Ni no Kuni 2. Now, I'm not going to lie on this one. I kind of, I forgot about Ni no Kuni 2 because it kind of went silent for a while there. Uh, this kind of rekindled my um, hype and anticipation for this one. And if you don't know, I did not play Ni no Kuni 1. I had no interest in it. It just, it just wasn't my cup of tea. And I don't think I'm ever going to go back, plug in my PS3 and play it. It just wasn't me. But the trailer that was shown... At, I'm not even sure what event it was, you know, the, the world premiere of the game. That rekindled my love. Well, not really rekindled my love, but made me interested in this game and this franchise now. And then they showed a new trailer for um, Nino Kuni at PlayStation Experience, Nino Kuni 2. And uh, it's actually in English, so this definitely is coming out next year, if that's any indication. Hopefully it doesn't get delayed like 50 different times like uh, other games but uh anyway uh yeah Nino Queen 2 is definitely looking like hype right now the battle system looks a little bit more action rpg heavy than its predecessor and that's automatically gonna get me a lot more interested 
so definitely gonna get this when it comes out day one and again hopefully it doesn't get delayed but uh, who knows there so next up we have near Automata near Automata I don't know how do you pronounce that but it's near and uh, I'm gonna argue with some people that this is a JRPG or not because I I never, I don't look at it that way. I look at it as, a, as an action game. Looks like an action game with RPG elements, but I'm sure you guys, again, are going to take me down the comment section saying that this is indeed a JRPG. But uh, Nier is looking as good as Nino Kuni when it comes to anticipation. My God, I love the action in it. Platinum games can almost, in my eyes, do no wrong. I know they've had some pretty bad missteps with some games, but from the games I played from them, Metal Gear Rising, Bayonetta, um, I didn't play Bayonetta 2, I did play the original Bayonetta, but uh, I don't think I ever am because I think my time with the Wii U was over and I'm never ever plugging that system up again. Fuck the Wii U. Uh, Vanquished. Vanquished was really a great game. It was like a, a gem. It was literally a gem. It's one of my probably one of my favorite action games of all time. They should really make a sequel to that game. That is a true gem right there. Uh, okay, I'm getting a little bit off topic, but uh, let's get back to Neo Autonoma. The gameplay, the action looks oh so buttery smooth. The frame rate looks that glorious 60 frames per second that I, I can't get enough of. That PC has just spoiled me on. And I don't even know what's going on with the story to near. I, I don't really care. I just want to play the game because the gameplay looks so excellent, so buttery smooth. And uh, I don't think I'll ever play the uh, first Nier that came out on PS3. It's just, it's just not going to happen. It doesn't look like my cup of tea. It, just, it looks boring to me. Oh, God. Somebody in the comments is going to kill me. Who, I wonder who that is. I wonder who in the comments is going to kill me about not playing Nier. Shentai Blandru. Okay, so uh, let's move on again. So the last game I got here, there wasn't too many JRPGs that you could say that were at the um, PlayStation Experience this year. Uh, we have No, Neo, I don't even know how to pronounce this, N-I-O-H, I don't know. Anyway, this game, uh, it looks pretty good from a gameplay perspective, but it doesn't look like my cup of tea, because from, from what I'm hearing, it's as hard as like Dark Souls, Dark Souls series of Bloodborne, and I don't play those games because, again, they don't look like game, games I would want to play. And to be honest, I don't like playing those types of games that make you frustrated or are just like the bosses are cheap and you gotta do other things you gotta I, I don't know I'm not I'm not into playing games to get frustrated here maybe for a good challenge but I hear those games are just hard just for the sake of being hard and I, I'm not about that I don't play games to get frustrated I play games to have fun okay I, I know I can play that game if I wanted to and I can obviously beat it no problem because psh, I ain't no scrub but uh, yeah I just don't I don't play I don't play them like that so uh, that's all I really want to talk about here for JRPGs Persona 5 Yeast uh, near Autonoma and no, uh, that, that's pretty much it. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think about the PlayStation experience. I think it was really good for everything else that they did. They had a lot of games. They had a lot of games that was for everybody, not just for JRPG people, because as you can see, only four games. That was pretty much it. But for everybody, um, there was a, something on Resident Evil, Last of Us looked really awesome. Uncharted looked amazing. But uh, yeah, it's not what the channel's about. Anyway, guys, I'll see you guys next time. Hit that like button. It really helps out a lot. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and want to see more. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.